We're here at Beyond 2015, the Global Youth Summit in San Jose, Costa Rica, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Shakir Azizi from Afghanistan. Shakir, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Uh, thank you, and thank you. Thanks, special thanks to ITU and uh, so Costa Rica for inviting us as an Afghan uh, student and delegate in this beautiful summit. I'd like to start off by asking you about your presence here, uh, what uh, brought you here and uh, how you discovered it and how you heard about it and also uh, a little bit about uh, your interesting <laughs> journey I believe you, you had getting here. Uh, yeah, I, it journey was not that much interesting but <laughs> uh, I heard about this, uh, this summit from youths, I'm a member of youth organization in Afghanistan and World Youth Organization, meanwhile I'm a global shaper. So the main source we got information, we get information about these kind of summits, especially which are designed for youths uh, from World Economic Forum and uh, uh, Global Shaper community. So uh, I'm much interested in these kind of uh, summits, especially where different people from different countries are participating. For me, I think it is one of the way, besides other benefits, one of the way to get to know people, culture, make friends and be their friends in Afghanistan. and have one friend from each country, and finally have, a, have a something on hand, which, is the, which will be the, the, the final um, of this summit. So that is why they make me to apply, to, to struggle, to, to write many emails, to bother ITU by sending many emails. Finally, I thank them that they selected me and started the journey. Uh, although if it is VIP, then a person can come from Afghanistan to, to, to Costa Rica in 18 hours almost. But uh, I arrived in 96 hours. Uh, had travel in Dubai and uh, uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil and finally in Panama to Costa Rica. So I didn't like it because what I feel some nations and some people in the world are uh, behaving when they see your passport. If they see your passport, if it is Western, then they behave very well. If it is Eastern or Asia, or specifically South Asia or Middle East, in Middle Asia, or Afghanistan, then they start asking thousand questions, useless questions. So this is, these are the problems. And I don't want them beyond, and beyond 2015. <laughs> Well, let's hope so too. I mean, this is very much a global summit. A lot of people are also uh, contributing uh, remotely as well. And uh, so we're hoping to get a whole load of contributions. Obviously, we have already started to get a lot of contributions. What You're personally involved in a number of different projects. And I wanted to ask you about the projects that you're, that you're physically involved in yeah. as well. One of the projects which uh, exactly physically involved me in this summit is uh, I'm working on a project that is a first of its kind and ever built in history of Afghanistan. Our national language is Pashto. Pashto is speaking both in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Almost more than 70 million people are Pashtun and living Pashtun. They don't have only one online dictionary. Now the world is changing from book to computer. So it means we should transfer the dictionary back to computer and to be on software. I'm working on to make first English to Pashto and Pashto to English, vice versa dictionary to uh, in Pashto version and then to other six big languages, and then if you could to other languages too. So then we will have uh, Pashto language in Chinese, in uh, German, in Portugal, and even in Espanol that you hear is spoken. Uh, after that, um, uh, our, this is exactly our third plan, uh, third step. But our second step is after making online Pashto dictionary, uh, making softwares, because in Afghanistan, many people I can say uh, almost 70 percent or 80 percent people do not have access to internet. So the only way for them to use this dictionary is to have them on CD and, uh, and install them. So I'm working, uh, so this I can say this is an ICT project. Uh, did this project uh, has made me and uh, motivate me to be a, in this kind of summit, especially in, in this uh, summit. Talking about the summit itself, what are you hoping will come from this summit? Well, uh, uh, what the agenda is beyond 2015. Uh, every participant should, uh, yeah, it is a global issue because we, we live now in a village. So if we live in the village, one of the home of the village is Afghanistan. So I am thinking of 2000, beyond 2015 of Afghanistan. The outcome of the summit uh, should be something uh, to, to uh, send to governments to endorse them to. Must implement. So 
whatever here it is de 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 decided or this decision is to be to either to, to motivate government or to force government to distribute ICT equipment or to work in this uh, sector. So I think I see Afghanistan involved in this. So my expectation is whatever Afghanistan is now, I don't want them after 2015. So now we have 20% participation of internet or 20% people have access. Beyond 2014, I, I want them to 50. So this kind of summit and this summit can do this. Well, let's very much hope so. Well, thank you very much indeed for being with us today, Shakir, and, uh, and I wish you the very best for the future. Thank you, and thank you, ITU.